Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekend's YouTube channel. Today we are here in world famous Clearwater Beach and we are here for the Pier 60 Sugar Sand Festival. This year's theme is Blast from the Past where we're going to check out sand castles representing the 50s all the way up through the 90s. It's going to be so much fun. Make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's go. Hi guys, like Lewis said, we are here. We are at glorious, wonderful, amazing Clearwater Beach. Uh, we are going to check out the uh, Sugar, Sugar Sand Festival. Um, we were here last year. Last year the theme was safari? It safari. was an animal, lettered animals. Oh yeah, so they had an animal for every letter of the alphabet. So anyway, super cool. So we're going to check it out, see what we can see. And uh, yeah, at the end of this we're going to pick out our favorite yeah. sand castle, right? Yeah, we're going right. to figure out which one's our favorites. There's all kinds of stuff to do here. Yeah. Uh, we're here right around sunset on Friday night, opening night. Uh, there are food vendors, there's going to be some live music. Um, in addition to sand castles. All right, so here is like the uh, like entryway one, which is kind of cool. So you see some cars here, but the uh, sand castles are actually behind this tent, so it, should, it shouldn't be airy or windy or wet, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, but it looks like these are these also include a fire element. They're going to light up at nighttime oh, too. Okay, yeah. So then we'll come back and check that out. Okay. So we bought our tickets online through our through our phone. Uh, tickets are fourteen dollars when you buy them online. Um, you know, when you buy them online, you get to skip the front of the line when you go in. You also get a five dollar merchandise credit uh, to use the end and a complimentary photo. Oh, nice! And the cool thing about it too is that there are like some food trucks and uh, they'll have some live music later. So it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool bang, bang for our buck. So um, we're gonna go through here, see what we can see, and then grab some food. Yeah. And, and see what else we can see. That's because uh, it's also the Sunset Festival night too, right? Yeah, this is Sunset Festival. So that, they do that th all throughout uh, spring, summer, fall yeah. as well. It's, it is a nice thing to do if you're in the area. So we'll check that out as well. Yeah. Hopefully we can find some souvenirs because I think I want a new yeah. bracelet. And it looks like a beautiful night out too. I think yeah. we'll get a good a good nice glimpse sunset. of the sunset. Yeah. yeah. All right. So big perk of buying your tickets online is you get to skip the line when you show when you get here. <laughs> now since it's opening night and it's you know Easter weekend, I'm going to assume. And maybe that, it gets more busy as the time goes on. Yeah, probably a little busier during uh, you know Saturday or something right. Sunday maybe. All right, guys, here we are. Hmm. Probably a ton of wind noise as we're standing right in front of the fan. Yeah. All right. So in the 50s, so we got we got Marilyn Monroe and Elvis, Disneyland. Mickey back there with Walt and Donald. We got Ronald McDonald. Thank you, Ronald McDonald. That was like the McDonald's guy. And Superman. So he's continuing the 50s theme here. This is pretty cool. Or maybe this is the 60s? Oh, maybe it's the transition piece. Okay. Yeah, this is still the 50s. This is an yeah. old Cadillac. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love Lucy. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Alright, and just like at Disneyland, all the money stays up front. Didn't bother to finish the inside, or the back from what I could tell. Drive-in movie theater is pretty neat. Wonder what they're watching. Alright, and as we get into the 60s, we got the Fred Flintstone, all the war protests, the VW Bug, and the lava lamp. Oh, uh, lava lamp! I want a lava lamp. So we've always kind of considered this like a sand castle festival, but Really, these aren't really sand castles. It's more like they took a big bulldozer, made a big mound, and kind of carved it, rather than actually building it up like you would, you know, if, if you were a child playing on the beach. So that's how you become a professional sandcaster carver. You got to work on your carving skills, not necessarily your building skills. Uh, we got an old school telephone, Muhammad Ali, Sonny and Cher, Summer of Love, Man on the Woodstock moon. with uh, Janis Joplin back there. Yeah, Man on the Moon, Martin Luther King. Alright guys, I'm being fans over the music. Here we are finally in the 70s. Uh, we got a Happy Days and I was a big Happy Days fan. I like I like Fonzie or the Fonz, but it was pretty cool. But honestly, I think MASH might have been my favorite show growing up. because uh, it would come on like late at night and I would watch it. Because what else did you do? Uh, like 10 o'clock on a Tuesday, right? So, I like MASH. Yeah. What's going on? Is that Marvin Gaye? I don't I don't think I I think so. That. It's uh Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Pink Floyd. And Pink Floyd. All right, continuing with the 70s, we got Scooby Doo, we got Rush, we got Kiss, we got Star Wars with a big old Darth Vader. Ooh, ominous. Uh, disco Party, Studio 54. 54. Yeah. 
57. I don't know. This is all still being for more time. And John Travolta up there doing Saturday Night Live. All right, and as we reach the half point here, we get some fun facts about everything. So it took two front loaders to pile the sand, 21,000 square foot structure, 11 days to sculpt, 1,000 tons of sugar sand, and 14 master sand sculptors. Now we progress into this decade where we're actually alive. Barely, but yes. <laughs> well, for you, yeah, you were born in 88. All right, so the 1980s where things got fun with the uh, skateboard, we got a Rubik's Cube, which I recently learned to master. We have uh, Alien, or is that Predator? That's Predator. We have, uh, there was a never ending story. Mm -hmm. Right, he's a big old boy. <laughs> I, don't remember the, I don't remember the dog's name. But uh, looks like we got the Ninja Turtles back there. And Beetlejuice. Don't say it two more times. Beetlejuice. <laughs> All right, we got the space shuttle. Uh, I have, oh, that's Indiana Jones. I was like trying yeah. to figure out who that is. And we got a Slash Funko Pop for some reason. Because they couldn't bring in the real Slash. Yeah. All right, continuing with the 80s, we got Rum DMC. We got a Polaroid. We got Mario. We just watched the Mario movie the other day. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we've got E.T. When I was a kid, E.T. was like my favorite movie of all time. And E.T. was my best friend. I told, I told, I told that to my parents so many times that E.T. was my best friend. I've never seen it. Yeah. You're missing out. I know. It's a classic. Yeah. Some other uh, hidden gems here. We got the DeLorean from Back to the Future. We got Pac-Man munching on some magic pills. <laughs> and we got Blockbuster Video. Who didn't go to Blockbuster Video on Friday nights in the back of the day? All right, moving into the 90s, the last decade. Can't touch this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can't touch this. Literally. Yeah. All right, so we got The Simpsons along with uh, Buzz and Woody for some reason. Men in Black. Men in Black. We got the Hubble Space Telescope behind them. Uh, what? What? Muppets that? That's uh, Elmo. Is that Elmo? Okay, we'll call it Elmo. I think it's Elmo. Okay. We've got uh, Bowser. Bowser. That's Mario Kart. And Mario Kart. Right? Yeah. yeah, Mario Kart 64 because they got the 64 controller down there. I grew up with the Nintendo 64. That was like my favorite console when I was a kid. I mean, we had other ones before that, but that was definitely my favorite. Um, although I still never really understood like why it has three handles. It's just it's kind of an awkward thing, but the games on it were amazing. I mean, who didn't play GoldenEye back in the day? Man, the Golden Gun. That was fun. All right, so we're wrapping up the, all the decades. Just got to the very end here. So, what was your favorite one? Uh, I like Miss Doubtfire. Miss Doubtfire. Yeah, okay. I like the I like the Cadillac from the fifties. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that was my fun. favorite. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Definitely. the VW Bug was cool. I like that. All right. Too. Definitely some more nostalgic mm -hmm. kind of things, though. Yeah. Uh, I think next we're gonna maybe take a picture of that someone opt in. I think it's the same backdrop as last year, and then we're gonna grab some food. Oh, and then also check out the merchandise because these are all for us. So they have a little QR code for you to get your picture, and that's perfect. So we're gonna put that photo in now. So we're gonna get a free photo. Yeah, and we're gonna put it in right now. And then also on the way out, they uh, do a sand, master sand sculpting competition here. So over the next couple of days, these will all come to life. So they got a little competition going on here between uh, the master sculptors. So you can compete by donating your cash, pennies, dollars, whatever, to each one. And whoever wins gets $8,000 as well as the local school that they represent. So last time we were here, they had buckets out where you could put that money in. But I think because they're not finished here yet, today's opening day, they don't have the buckets ready. So can't really compete for uh, who you think's gonna win. Although if I had to vote, I like this guy. I don't know what's going on here, but it's like candles melting on his head. It's kind of cool. Not my favorite part to get shot. Here are the prices on all the different stuff. So t-shirts are 25 bucks, uh, tie-dye 28, and you get um, half for 25, koozies for $8. So there's the koozies, some of the hats. You get I dig Clearwater Beach t-shirts, Sugar and Sand Sunset Festival, as well as the themed ones from this year, the Decades. All right, so Christine found something because of course she did. <laughs> and it looks like she's going to go with the Sherbert tie-dye tie decades sugar sand festival. Yeah. So that one is $28, but we have $10 off. Yeah, so we found out there towards the end they only let us use one of our coupons because she only bought one shirt. So apparently if you're going to buy, if you use both coupons, you need to buy two shirts. So it's not $10 off. We only got $5 off because I didn't purchase anything. 
Uh, and they apparently don't take cash, even though it's legal tender in the United States for all debts, public and private. <laughs> they only take credit cards. So Lewis feels very that. particular about places that only that only take one form of payment. I, I thought they had to take cash. Like you show up with so. a bucket of pennies, and well, make, them, make them take it. That's the IRS. Yeah. But like you, but like yeah. if you're on an airplane, they guess, only take cards. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Well, because it's hard to get a wheelbarrow full of pennies onto an airplane. Yeah, that definitely probably uh, you know. Definitely not flying frontier. <laughs> So we got some live music going on over there, but we're also going to talk about what we got for di dinner options. So we got fusion pop, uh, looks like gourmet ice pops. They got the donuts over there, the uh, the, balls. the cheesy balls. <laughs> Folks are back. So it looks like we also have uh, Mexican street corn on the cob. We got the Bay Star Beach Cafe. So they get some burgers and sandwiches, pulled pork. So we also have some lemonade and some other drinks over there. And it just wouldn't be a festival without fried Oreos. Deep fried Oreos. So they also have like a VIP section here too. Uh, it's $70 for a ticket for one of those. And I guess they get you like a special place you can dine here. Mm -hmm. And then you also get access to a special menu, which I think is additional cost on top of that. So. If you want to make a full night of it, have a little date night, hang out, listen to some live music, it's definitely something you could do. Uh, we decided to do a little bit cheaper. I think it's what most people are going to do for the $14. More affordable. <laughs> More affordable. <laughs> here we got Meet the Alligator. So this is the recycling alligator. So if you have any plastic bottles you add here, and add him some, give him some scales. I think he's missing a few bits and bobs there. All right, hope you guys can hear this over uh, the very loud music, but Lewis decided to go with the balls. Because of course he did. Uh, so we got cheesy Italian rice balls for seven bucks. It's actually seven seven dollars for one ball, so I got two balls for twelve. Okay. Two sloppy Joe balls. What happened? I don't know what happened to the sloppy Joe ones, but it was five minutes and then it turned into ten minutes, and so we ended up with two cheese. Yeah. They look like little sand balls. They're sand sculptures of balls. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So what is, is a little lump of cheese wrapped in rice, breaded and Air fry. Yeah, it's like percent. Yeah. Uh, was it worth the uh, twelve dollars? Um, you know, again, you you at a f festival, you pay for that sort of thing. Yeah. Grand, I mean, there are plenty of options. You can easily escape, yeah. go get something else. All right, what do you think? Okay, okay, it's good time. All right, and we have fire. I don't know if you go with. Do you go with the um, uh, Castaway Tom Hanks fire, or do you go with the Beavis and Butt <laughs> fire? Fire. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Look what I have created! I have made fire! Alright guys, so here are your pro tips for the Sugar Sand Festival. I'd say number one is buy your tickets online, so that way you can get that $5 coupon. Pro tip number two is that $5 coupon can only be used on one item, so don't try to combine two of them for one. And pro tip number three is definitely come around sunset so that we can watch an amazing sunset. And you can also wrap it in with the uh, normal Pier 60 Sunset Festival that goes on, as well as all the other street performers and everything else that goes on in the area. So make a whole date night out of it. So that's going to do it for today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below. What was your favorite sand sculpture? We'd love to hear about it. With that being said, we're out here and we'll see you next weekend. Is that, is that Debbie Does Dallas? I don't know, you're asking me like I know I don't know. Got my shot, got my shot. All right, so we got confirmation of the woman. The woman is Farrah Fawcett. Debbie Does Dallas. I don't know, it's a big 70s thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it just came up and kicked sand in my, on my feet. Like, <laughs> oh, you're alive. Yeah, they just, she just literally walked up and just kicked a big load of sand in me. <laughs> when you buy them, well, let's talk when you stop walking, I guess. Okay. All right, and as we continue with the 70s, we got Scooby Dooby Dooby, Rush, Kiss, Star Wars with the Did you giant. Say Scooby Dooby Dooby? Yeah, Scooby Dooby Dooby. Scooby Dooby Doo, honey. Scooby Dooby Dooby. No, it's not. Right. This is the PT channel, my love. You may need to talk louder than that. We talk louder than that. Okay. YouTube channel today, we are in somewhere. All right, and now we're getting into this. This is the 60s right over here. Are you sure it's the 60s? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the 70s.